How to create responsive designs using the media query in Flutter. From the media query, you can get the screen width that we want to display inside of a text widget. With this, we display the entire screen width. If we change the window width, then this number is also changing. Also, you can get the entire screen height from the media query that we display inside the text widget. As a result, if we change the window height, then this number is also changing. Next, inside a row, we have a blue container with a width of 200 pixels and on the right side, we place a red expanded container. This blue container we only want to display inside the web and desktop version, therefore we create a breakpoint. If the screen width is greater than 600 pixels, then it is the desktop mode, otherwise we have the mobile mode. And now we could use these helper methods to create a responsive design that adapts to different screen sizes, Therefore, we display this blue container only inside the desktop mode. With this, we only display the red expanded container in the mobile version. If we go above 600 pixels in width, then also the sidebar is displayed. How to create designs for portrait and landscape orientations in Flutter. Simply use the media query to get the current orientation of the device and then based on it you can display the portrait or landscape mode. For the portrait mode we display a text portrait and otherwise a text landscape. With this we display by default the portrait mode for the phone and also for the tablet mode. If you change the orientation of your tablet or your phone then the landscape mode is displayed. Instead of getting the orientation from the media query, you could also use the orientation builder. Whereas within the builder you get the orientation to check if your device is in portrait or landscape mode. Next, instead of creating a separate portrait and landscape design, you could also combine both of it inside of the same scaffold. In this case we display a grid view with two columns for the portrait mode and for the landscape mode we want to display three columns. As a result, we have two columns for the phone and also for the tablet. If we change the orientation to landscape for the tablet and for the phone, then we display three columns. Next, you could use the media query to get the shortest side of your phone. With this, you can check if your phone is a mobile phone or a tablet device or any other device. So if it is a mobile phone, then we, for example, want to display a drawer in our scaffold. Otherwise, we display no drawer. As a result, we have this draw menu icon only on the phone to open the menu. Next, we wrap the grid view into a row and then we can also display before the grid view the blue sidebar if it is not a mobile device. With this, the sidebar is not displayed on the phone, however, on other devices such as the tablet or the web. And for the phone, we have this draw menu icon to open the sidebar.